Originally, Photoshop was a one-at-a-time image editor. You would open an image off of a scanner or a photo CD, but with the mass proliferation of digital cameras, DSLRs, suddenly we had to worry about opening dozens, even hundreds of images. And along came a feature in Photoshop 7 called the File Browser. Well, the File Browser quickly turned into a standalone application called Adobe Bridge. And since CS, Bridge has shipped alongside Photoshop. It's really powerful, and it can do things that even Photoshop can't do. Today, I want to show you some of my favorite things you can do in Bridge. Okay, so here we are in Bridge CS6. Now, from CS to CS6, Bridge came pre-installed alongside Photoshop. So that's why I've chosen to use this particular version of Bridge. If you're using CC or later, you install that as a separate application. And the idea here is that I can preview any of the files that Photoshop can see. I've got some JPEGs, some TIFFs, I've even got a DNG here, and I can, I can change uh, the size of my thumbnails. I could shift-click these and hit the space bar and come through them full screen. If I wanted to, with these selected, I could hit Command-B, and I have this nice carousel where I can quickly move through them, and I could even click on the image, and it'll give me this temporary 100% preview. I have a lot of different ways of looking at my files, ranking my files, but what I really want to talk about is some of the unique things I can do with my files as they pertain to Photoshop here. So let's say that I want to take this DNG. If I double click on that, obviously that would take me into Camera Raw, but within Bridge, if I take a JPEG and hit Command R, that will also pop me into Camera Raw. So let's make a really dramatic change to this image. Let's introduce some clarity and let's warm it up and add some vibrance. And I'll just hit Done. The changes will be reflected back here in Bridge. Now, whether the other files are JPEGs or DNGs, if I like, I can come in here, I can Control click, and I can come down into my Develop Settings. Now, I've got all my different presets, but I could also copy those settings. And so I've copied those settings, and now I'm going to Shift click on some of the other similar images. I'm going to Control click, and I'm going to come down to Develop Settings and Paste. And it's going to ask which parameters I want to paste, and I'm just going to say, let's, let's do them all. And if I click OK, exactly what I placed on that one will be communicated to the others. Naturally, that DNG is going to look a little bit different than the pre-processed JPEGs. So that's a pretty cool feature, but there are other things I can do in here that I can't do anywhere but Photoshop, and there are a couple things I can't even do in Photoshop. So if we come to our Tools menu, we'll see that we can batch these files, we can apply them to a contact sheet. Image Processor allows us to create different file formats. Lens Correction, this is something I can't do in a batch in Photoshop. I could select multiple images and correct multiple images for lens distortion. I can also load files into Photoshop layers. This is really handy. Let's say I want to take this JPEG, this TIFF, and this JPEG, and I'm just command clicking to get them out of sequence, and I want to open those as layers in the same document. I could come up here to Tools, Photoshop, load files into Photoshop layers, and what will happen is that we will launch Photoshop and we'll open those files into a layer stack within a document. So there they are each different file right there as layers. If I wanted to do that same thing in Photoshop, it's a little bit trickier. What I need to do is go to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. It even uses a different name. Okay, so back to Bridge. A couple of other things I could do. I could come in here and I could merge to HDR Pro. I could select multiple images and send them over there. Photo Merge, same thing as a panorama. Let's look at something completely unique to Bridge, though. So obviously, we have a lot of different files, and a couple of them are panoramas, and they're different file formats. Well, if I come up here to Stack, and I say Auto Stack Panoramas and HDRs, Bridge will analyze these files, and it will group them into stacks. And the result will be, what have we got? Six JPEGs that belong all together. And while these next two images look similar, we notice that they have different names, although they're the same image, and that they're TIFFs. The next set, are grouped as panoramas, and yet the last one looks like those, but it's a DNG, so it's a different file. If we had HDRs, those would be automatically grouped as well. Now from here, I could take any of these stacks of images, shift-click to select them all, come up to Tools, 
Photoshop and go to Photo Merge. And what will happen is Photoshop will launch. I'll get this dialog. I can just leave it on auto, click OK, and all of those images will be aligned, blended, and will create a really nice panorama. In my experience, auto works every time, all the time. And you can see we got a great result from that, complete with editable masks. Now there's another way to do it in Bridge, which is very much a hidden feature, but really powerful. And that's that I could come back here and I could just say Tools, Photoshop, Process Collections. And what it's going to do is it's going to look at any grouped images, whether they're HDRs or merges. It's going to process them all, and it's going to take the result and save it back to that original folder. I don't have to do anything. I just step away from the machine and let Bridge and Photoshop do all the work. And in the end, what I'll get is all of my collections processed out. So I'll get a bunch of beautiful panoramas sitting right next to the original files. And that's exactly what we got here. So if we look through, let's look at the full screen of that DNG. Here's a full screen preview of the panorama and the other panorama. And Bridge did all the work for me. That's just a little bit of what Bridge can do. Those are some of my favorite features, but it's its own application. There's a lot more to it than that. Give it a try, see what you think. I hope that you found that there's some things it can do you had no idea that Bridge was capable of.